Hi, in this video we will see how to use a temperature sensor with MATLAB and I use a groove sensor that comes with Arduino basic starter kit I have connected my groove sensor to the A0 pin of the Agin Omega with the help of the base shield let's see how to program this for in MATLAB before that we will see the example program that has given by Seed Studio so here you can see the code and very important thing is uh, the math function which is involved to get a accurate reading for this sensor is this so I'm gonna use this code into my MATLAB so here uh, the program that I have written in MATLAB it is the same as the program that is given in the Sage Studio wiki page here uh, what I did is uh, just a, a simple change is that uh, when you are reading an analog signal in MATLAB it will return to you as a voltage that is it is the varying from 1 to 5 volts but uh, the program that in seed wiki page was written for the analog signal that we acquire usually acquire from analog uh, sensors uh, but here in MATLAB that analog uh, uh, signal is converted to voltage so again what I have did is the connect uh, converted the uh, 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 voltage to analog signal and I did the same calculation here and one more thing I did is I plot the graph for the value that I am getting from the sensor so I here you can see that I used a loop that I am going to read the sensor for uh, 100 loops if I want to continuously read this I can change it to while loop so I'll change it to while let's turn the cam in on and turn the program now So here the program started to run and even in the command window you can see the current temperature that the room temperature is lies between 31 to 32 and the room temperature is constant. I am going to place my sensor near my laptop air vent so th where I can see a high temperature air coming out of that. So I'm placing it near my laptop air vent. So here you can see that the temperature constantly rising. Even you can check the command window. What is the current temperature? and you can also see in the graph how it is changing so uh, I have changed my for loop from a definite number to a while loop so it will be uh, running till I stop my program the temperature is still rising So again I'm going to place the sensor to its original position where it was placed before the start of the program. So you can see that the temperature is dropping now. So it's coming back to the room temperature.
so I think uh, it's I can stop the program now I'm gonna hit control C here we have the all the values that are stored for our X variable here you can see all the variables here so for from time to time our temperature has changed So that's it for this tutorial, thank you.